Okay, we move on to our second race here at NAS, which is race 15 on your card, and it's the last one. It's a two mile four listed hurdle. Number one is Eagle has landed the favorite. Two is Frankenfurter. Three, Lobbying. Four, Scooby Snacks. Five, The Bear. Six, Burntwood. Seven, Kumadatha. Eight, Doug's Plastic Paradise. Nine is Excellent. He's a he's a rarity. <laughs> Ten is Moilet Snow White. Eleven, the Northern Gate, and twelve, which is Sticks. So fairly classy field here. Top five are rated between 140 and 160, so it should be a quite a good race. As we're going to wait for him to settle down, and it's excellent. He's a he's a. I'm just going to call that one excellent. He's a Doug. I'm a, my apologies, but your big grey's got a strange name. But it's excellent. He's a that leads us um, by four legs already to Scooby Snacks and Northern Gate. Then we've got lobbying. And then on the outside is Moilet Snow White and Doug's Plastic Paradise. The one against the fence in the yellow cap is Scooby Snacks. We take the second, everybody's over it. The favourite Eagle has landed is Mid Pack. Outside of Eagle has landed is Frankenfurter in the green. They've been followed through by Kumadatha, the bear in the pink silks, and then Burntwood and Witch's Sticks just at the rear. But it's excellent, he's up. Leads at the front. We've got a couple of miles still to travel from the lobby in. From Carl Arrogante. Uh, Daniel in second. Then we've got Doug's Plastic Paradise from Stu Gray. Behind that is Moilet Snow White from Moilet Surfer. Then we've got Northern Gate for Jim Murray. And the inside of Northern Gate is Scooby Snacks for David Robertson. On the outside is the favourite Eagle has landed for Joshua Sutherland. Then we've got the Bear for Del Hinton. Frank and Furter, I'm not sure who the trainer is on that one. On the outside of that is Burtwood, which I know is Martin Leader, who took it particularly badly. The other one is Kumadatha in the pack and just at the rear is the witch's sticks from leon van rensburg but up front the lead's not so not so big now excellent he's a, just leads by a couple to doug's plastic paradise and lobbying they're being followed through by northern gate the bear kumadatha coming up on the inside eagle has landed his mid pack then we've got northern gate dropping back a little bit they take the fifth everybody's over it bit of a slow jump by witch's sticks but it's excellent he's up that still leads us by a couple of lengths to Doug's Plastic Paradise. Better jump by Doug's Plastic Paradise there. Pulls him alongside Excellent Heezer. Although taking a little bit of a pull. No one really wants to go off as we're going to go past the winning post. And a circuit of about a mile and uh, a furlong left or a mile and a quarter left to run. And we're halfway through the hurdles. So this listed handicap here at NAS on the good to soft conditions. It's still excellent. He's a that leads. Although Doug's Plastic Paradise is now having a, a fight for second with Burntwood in the purple silks. And they're being followed through by Mollet Snow White and Northern Gate. Lobbying still there. Scooby Snacks having a dream ride. Eagle has landed still mid pack. Looking threatening. Then we've got the Bear. And then Kumadatha, which is stick and Frank converted just at the rear, but there's not much in it. There's probably fifth, woof, less than 15 lengths between first and last. So up front is still excellent. He's up, been there since the beginning. Got a mile to travel. Doug's Plastic Paradise, just a length further back. And followed through by Sco Scooby Snacks, Northern Gate. Scooby Snacks is... Uh, Getting a little bit close, might get himself blocked in there. They take the eighth, and this time Doug's Plastic Paradise jumps it better. Excellent. He's a drops down into second. Third is Northern Gate. Fourth and fifth is Scooby Snacks and Burntwood. The favourite Eagle has landed, is under a little bit of pressure now to get a better position. More let's know White is there as well, as is the Bear. And they're being followed through by Lobbying, which is Stick, Frank and Furter and Kumadatha. But it's up front. We're through nine. It's Doug's Plastic Paradise from Excellent He's a Scooby Snacks looks, looks ominous. Got plenty left as does probably northern gate more it's no white still under pressure trying to find better position they jump the ninth a fast jump by doug's plastic paradise more let's know white is there as well here comes burntwood they're going to join him at the front so it's doug's plastic paradise more let's know white and burntwood these three take the tenth together the one on the outside that jumped it well was eagle has landed and really heads for home now we've got the bend he's decided to go out wide but still leads by half a neck but burntwood's got the round and hanging on well so it's eagle has landed burntwood more let's know white Doug's Plastic Paradise is easy. Well, Doug's Plastic Paradise has got nowhere to go. He's got himself blocked in. He's not going to win from there. Eagler's Land is starting to pull away now. We're inside the final two. They take the 11th. They've only got one left to jump. Better jump by Burntwood. Eagler's landed under pressure. Eagler's landed is running well here. Eagler's landed just by half a length. Here comes Burntwood. They both take the 12th together. Moilet Snow White has still got a little bit left, but Eagler's Land is starting to pull away just inside the final half of furlong. Eagler's Land is going to take this, I think, from Burntwood in second. Moilet 
there's no way it's third. Frank and Fertone, Doug's Plastic Paradise, fighting out for fourth and fifth. And there was excellent Heezer, led from the beginning, coming in last. So Eagles landed for Joshua Sutherland, wins the Tipper Road listed hurdle. Second was Burntworth for Martin Leadham. Third was Moylet's No White for Moylet Surfer. Fourth was Frank and Furter for Kevin Minahan. And Doug's Plastic Paradise for Stu Gray was fifth.